so we are going to implement stack using class in C++ so the language we are using is C++ so first we will create a class class name is stack so stack uh, short form I will write here is stack and then uh, now I will declare here a class variable that is uh, first I will declare top then uh, max which is the size of our stack maximum size of stack and then array of stack for creating uh, elements and push in the stack now in public specifier we will write uh, tag constructor class constructor that is tag it will uh, require one argument size then uh, we will initialize the top is equal to minus 1 when uh, stack is empty by considering the stack is empty then a is equal to this initialization of array in size is max oh no this is a so this and that and then uh, size uh, sorry, the max is equal to size it will go here and this is done uh, done with the stack uh, class constructor then we are going to uh, create methods or functions from class stack so there are two ways um, two ways of making and de defining functions of class one in the class and uh, other is outside the class so we are going to declare or define the functions inside the class so first function is push it will take one argument that is a number which we want to push in the stack so first we will check if array is uh, uh, stack is a full or empty uh, that means if stack is overflow then we cannot push the element we want in the stack so if top is greater than equal to max minus 1 here uh, we take max minus 1 because uh, we are implementing stack using array so array is uh, array index is starting from 0 so here we are going to take max minus 1 if top is greater than or equal to max minus 1 then the stack is uh, overflow so stack is full stack is full can can't push in stack else what we are doing in else part if stack is not in the full or we, uh, we have enough space to push elements in the stack then we are uh, first we will uh, increment top by one and then a of top is equal to that specific element which we are going to push that is n1 so this is done with the function so next is void pop this will not take any argument if top is equal to is equal to minus 1 that is if stack is empty then we cannot pop any element from array or stack so we will display our output as stack is empty can't pop from stack and if stack is not empty or stack is full then uh, we will increment top by minus 1 but for this uh, first we will declare a integer type of variable integer type of variable and in this variable we will put our uh, 
the element which we are going to pop so a of top that is a top most element and then top minus minus top will decrement and then c out pop element uh, element is this that is deleted atom this void display this is the function also didn't take not need to take any argument it just uh, check if the function is empty then it will not display uh, anything so we will copy paste this this condition if condition uh, the change is required here is stack is empty cannot cannot display the stack then in else part uh, if stack is not empty and stack contains at least minimum elements then it should display that in those elements so for this i will declare a variable here i so for i is equal to top here we are going to print reverse uh, reverse array that is stack because uh, the element which we are going to push at last that element should be printed at the top that is first so i is equal to top i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus and here we are printing element one by one so a of i here and the next line after each element and also here also next line we should take at first so this is the display function now uh, for now we are done with this only so let's uh, create object or object of class that is tag so class tag s1 and we are going uh, to put here is a file because uh, the constructor is taking one argument that is size so we are give, uh, going to put the argument uh, here is a file uh, so let's uh, as of now um, we are not going to create a while loop let's see uh, what happens first we will uh, try, uh, check our function or code is working or not so s1 dot push i want to push 56 first then again push 34 again push 45 then again i want to push one more element that is 90 then i want to display my stack again i want to pop out one more element and then again display what remaining in my stack so we'll run the code and let's see what happens so the error what errors are these c out was not declared in this scope so we are not done with a standard okay hash include standard input output dot h and using name space standard let's try c out was not declared in this scope and a and n l so here uh, we have getting error because uh, the standard io dot edge this is for c code or c language and we are using c plus plus language so we are using here io stream dot h let's see the code is run now io stream dot h no it's it's a io stream only so let's see the code is running well now let's let's see this is a five uh, this is the size of array or stack my stack and now first i pushed 56 so 56 came at the bottom then i 34 34 is pushed it comes the 
next to the bottom and this 45 and this 90 in the reverse order then i pop one element the latest uh, the ele uh, element pop from stack is 90 which is the latest element which i pushed in the stack and then display element which is this so we are going to now uh, create a one more fun one two more functions that are the stack is full or stack is empty that is for understanding uh, by the way we are created this uh, this part of uh, uh, is full and is em empty function here this is a part of is empty function here also and this is the part of uh, is full function to check the stack is full or not but we are doing uh, we are going to do here separate so void is is full uh, it takes zero arguments let's if let's copy this if top is minus minus one here we are nothing uh, going to print nothing only return one else return zero and the return type should be int or bool here so as of now this is the integer type of is full and same we are going to create for is empty in the is empty function here if top is now the condition is changed if the top is greater than equal to minus 1 and this is a part of each full function sorry guys uh, change this and this is full is not is empty empty part of the function uh, let's let's try here if it's full is equal to is equal to 1 see out full else uh, the stack is full it will return full else else it will print it will print not full and similarly for empty function so now let's try to run okay it's fully the function now so it should return like this and here in 75 number return 0 like this in 86 also return 0 should like this it's full was not declared in this scope yes the function should uh, call with the object of class that's s1 dot is full yes it is not full now uh, the capacity of a uh, stack is 5 i have pushed four elements then display then pop one then now there are three elements in the stack so i will push two more elements 34 and 99 and let's see what's the answer here is a pull the stack is full and let's again display the stack and the stack is full so like this you can uh, create for empty is empty or is uh, is full that's it